Hello, this is Garth Holman, and uh, I'm from TeachersForTomorrow.net, and we're back with Remote Learning Series. This is the um, part four or three of Google Slideshow. So we talked about last time how to build a slideshow, how to pick themes. Um, we talked about how to add imagery into it. So today we're going to focus on a couple things. We're going to focus on how do we add links, and how do we add video to our slideshow. So. Um, I was kind of saying this was going to be built as though it were a weekly assignment. So what I've said to the kids is I want them to make a copy of a Google Doc. So I need to give them a Google Doc. So I built a very quick Google Doc. Here it is. I'm going to go to Share. And I'm going to get a shareable link. Remember in the docs we talked about always, or I'm going to always go to anyone with the link can view. Um, and I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to take that assignment and copy that address. On my document, I'm going to highlight, make a copy of this Google Doc, and I am going to click the link icon and insert a link. Like I said in um, the Google Docs one, you click this, then you have to click the link below. It's not like you click on the web one time, you click, then click again, and it'll open that document up. So they can't change it. They can only make a copy. Um, again, you'd have to make sure your kids know how to do that. That's go to file, make a copy. <clears throat> and then I wanted them to read this article on the crusade. So I found an article. Um, I really probably wouldn't have them read this. This is pretty long. But just for our purposes, I'm going to again highlight this link. So I control copy or command copy on my Mac. I'm going to highlight another that article, and I am now going to paste it in. Now, I did this twice. If you look at the Google Doc, I actually had already linked it here, too. I had highlighted and then used the same link icon here. So now I've linked this to a Google Doc and to a reading. The document says for them, um, when you're done with the reading, watch the video in the slideshow and explain two things you learned. So what I want to do in this slideshow is add a video. So I already went out and got a crash course. Again, I don't know that I would have my kids at middle school watch crash course, but I just picked some things that we would see quickly. I'm going to copy that address. There's a couple ways to do this in slides. I go to insert, and I want to do a video. Now what it lets you do is type stuff in, so you can search directly from here. Now, I can search directly from here and it'll pull up YouTubes. It'll find that crash course, as a matter of fact. But you know what, I'm going to give my kids a choice. So I'm going to pick this one, which is a little shorter, and I'm going to embed it. And it auto-embeds, so it just brings the video in. Now, I could have them watch this one, but I actually told them now, you know, that would be misleading because I said watch a certain video and I linked it here. I don't want a different one here, so I'm going to delete it. I just hit the delete key. And this time, instead of searching, I can put an address in. So I can just put the address in of the one I want, and there it is. Now it's limited to that. I select. That video is now embedded in my slideshow. If I don't want this box, I can click it hit delete and it'll disappear and there's that slide. So we've added two links. You have to click and click again. We added a link to a reading, right? We added a link to a Google Doc and we embedded a video. So that's how you embed video.